What is up YouTube, it's your boy Billy Barber X coming at you with another music video reaction. It is UK Tuesday and we're going to be jumping into some uh, Bugsy Malone we got lined up. A song called Spitfire. I'm going to break it down, see what kind of bars we got, substance we got, you know the daily. So go ahead and comment and share and subscribe, hit that post notification bell so you can stay up to date with all my latest content. Drop by the Billy Bob shop, copy some Billy Bob merch, and swing past the Patreon page if you want to be a supporter to help the channel grow. And we're going to jump on into it. This is Bugsy Malone, Spitfire. Let's get it. Like that shit? Got me a mouse now for my phone. We really gonna get it. Get it. JBZ Media. Yo. Bugsy Malone. JDZ Media, Spitfire, what's this? Look, when I was about 10, ended up robbing all of my school friends for the Pokemon cards, finger skateboards, six years before I ever went pen, five years before I got expelled, four years before I got kicked out, three years before I was a good student, two years before I got missed out, I signed the doors, he didn't want to bring me nothing, because I was on... Sometimes there's shit out there, man, that schools just can't teach you. You just don't want to learn, man. I was one of those kids. I was out there like, man, you can't... I felt like I knew it all. You know, like, you can't teach me nothing that I don't already know, man. I grew up, damn, trying to pave my own damn way. So who, are, who the hell are you to tell me what I should and shouldn't know? Because I'm already out here doing it by, by my damn self, so... What you gonna tell me that I ain't gonna learn eventually walking through life? Teach me something that I can... Fucking use, man. Teach me how to do my taxes. Teach me fucking how to balance a checkbook. Don't teach me all this garbage that I don't want to fucking know, because you're going to lose interest. And I'm going to be out here on the fucking streets doing shit that I shouldn't be fucking doing. Because you can't do something fucking interesting enough to keep me paying attention. Oh, man. Teach me something I can use. Keep my ass in school. Was a good student two years before I got missed out. I signed the doors, he didn't want to bring me nothing. Because I was underprivileged. That means now I walk with a complex. And trust me, I try my best to get rid of this. I want more money than you consider rich. I was on the roads and I didn't give a shit. Because I was taking phones and taking bikes. And I swear my niggas was killing it. Chilling with D, blazing weed. Sat back watching Red and White Dogs. Used to sell white and beef for a boss. Until I licked off like 25 bucks. And that's when I realized we was a gold man. Only 11 more zeds in a box. And I was 17, fresh out of jail. Rolling with a pedal bike and a dog. You said that's when he realized that weed was a gold mine? Is that what he said? I mean, it's, it's been proven so here in the States already. Fucking every state that damn legalizes, man, they're making billions within the first fucking year, dude. Hundreds of fucking millions of damn dollars off this shit. And yet they still won't federally legalize it. To me, it's no fucking brainer, dude. I mean, if you get the U.S. out of fucking debt that damn quick just by legalizing a fucking plant, why haven't you done it yet? Tell us that we're fucking stupid because we're smoking this shit. Bitch, you fucking stupid because you're not. <laughs> Come the hell on, dude. For real. If you can ever do that much money off motherfucking weed, why haven't you re legalized it yet? Well, because dealing drugs is what you do when... You, you don't have anything else to resort to when, when you can't get a fucking job that pays you a check working 9 to fucking 5. Then you sell drugs. Well, the other states are doing it because they're going fucking broke. And guess what? They ain't going broke no more. <laughs> Detroit. Detroit. Come on, man. Michigan just legalized. Detroit will be coming back soon, man. The damn um, automobile industry will be popping once they start making some motherfucking money there in Detroit. Anyway, let's get it. I talk too damn much.
Roads and I didn't give a shit Cause I was taking phones and taking bikes And I swear my niggas was killing it Chilling with D, blazing weed Sat back watching red and white dogs Used to sell white and beef for a boss Until I licked off like 25 odds And that's when I realised We was a gold man Only 11 more zeds in a box And I was 17, fresh out of jail Rolling with a pedal bike and a dog I put people paint pictures with words And I paint them like Vincent van Gogh Still spending money from 08 And I've still not taken the bands off Still got access to the sawn off Still got more brothers than Warner Oh, Lord, he said, I'm still spending money from 08. <laughs> I ain't even touched the shit that I made here in fucking 2019 yet, 2020. What the fuck? Still spending that old money, dude. Half the places don't even take it no more because they've already reprinted new versions of that bill. <laughs> They're like, we don't take this old money no more. <laughs> you had to go cash it in at the bank for some new money because it's too old of money. <laughs> you start spending that shit, Bugsy. Back a little. It's good. Off. Still got access to the sauna. Still got more brothers than Warner. I'm still on this music thing and I'm still in the gym and I can still hold my corner. Trust me, you don't want to start drama because the roadside gets hot like a sauna. And that's why man wear body armor because it gets political like Obama. I was on a bus two years ago with a hundred thousand views on flush pressure. Long black raincoat for the bad weather. But don't watch that because things get better. Now I got the S line. Everything level does. Not to 60 in 5.7. Books in my lungs on a different level. Got even a whip tip. Yeah, I'd almost swear that this is a one take, man. Because, like, even when he turns his head, you, you can hear his voice fade out. Almost as if this is being recorded live, dude. Like, that's hard as shit. That's bad as fuck, dude. He keep on wanting to touch my screen, even though I got his little badass little mouse down here. I still be wanting to thumb my screen. I like the finger shit. Malone's on a different level, got even the whip turns into the devil, it's madness, trying to escape from a ghetto that literally gives hip hop heavy metal, I hear that revenge is sweet, but I just hope that it tastes like I'm a rattle, cause I'm about to get, right, trying to, his, oh shit, he said that hip hop just gives everybody a medal, man, like, thank you for participating, here you go, we're gonna glorify your hood, and glorify the fucking struggle that you go through every day, and make it seem like it's a fucking million dollar industry, which sadly it fucking is. That you're out there glorifying what these people are doing to sur fuck fucking survive, dude. Their means to survive, and you're glorifying it, going, Your struggle's awesome, man. Keep struggling. We love it. It's kind of fucking bullshit, isn't it? Get back anybody that thought I was gonna do another stretch in jail. If success tastes like Coca Cola, then I'll have a large Coke and I'm a rattle. On the rocks, off, fresh out the bottle. You never catch me drowning my sorrows until I got told things in a coma. I took more shots than Miguel Cotto. The left side of my chest went hollow. I went out like the mask of Zorro. I make the sky turn red, ran in the crib, and then turned into the devil. Get over here. Whoopee! <laughs> oh, I got that red as a positive, too. I forgot what I was the old fucking say because he killed me with that Mortal Kombat line. <laughs> Something about fucking, there ain't nothing in his chest no more, man. So when it comes down to doing the fucking dirty work, he's fucking heartless as fuck. It don't matter as long as he getting the shit done, he'll be heartless as fuck getting there. He's like, get over here, whoopsie! Who <laughs> is that, scorpion? What that, scorpion? Get over here! It's funny, I think I just posted a... A gif yesterday on somebody's video with a little Mortal Kombat dude popping out on Toasty! Did he pop back out the screen? <laughs> so I saw he get knocked the fuck out, so I had to post it as a gif, you know. Toasty! Or whoopsie! Or whatever the hell it was he said. <laughs> that shit was tight though. Give back a couple seconds. I talk too damn much, let's get it! <laughs> Finish him like sub zero out the window into the garden over the it. fence and straight for the gino. You're soft in the middle like Bueno and talk too much like you're on Jay Leno. You've been to the gym for the day and you're already walking around. I know I talk too much, dude. I just got to clarify that shit. Why you got pointed out again? We already been there. I talk too damn much. I got you. It's 
play the piano. I make a jet black boy turn yellow. I'm trying to make more notes than a cello. It's books him alone again. And I'm home again, so I'm zoning in. I didn't think I'd see microphone again. The boo throw me out, so I kicked off the door like I own the house. Everybody in the room got thrown about. Hook, smash, flip the couch, tied the producer. Did you say that the boo threw him out? You talking about fire in the booth? Like, Charlie Sloth, they, they kicked him out? Said, no, we don't want you back? Is that true? Leave it down in the comments. Let me know, man. I, I like the, uh... I could have swore I did a Bugsy Malone fire in the booth. Or maybe it was a Daily Duppy. I don't know. I could have sworn I'd done a Bugsy fire in the booth before, though. Let me know in the comments, man. They kick him off that shit, won't let him back, or what? That's crazy. I didn't know that shit. Bring it back. Bring it back. Not too far, not too far. Oh, that's a little far, but fuck it. Let's get it. Piano. I make a jet black boy turn yellow. I'm trying to make more notes than a cello. It's books him alone again. And I'm home again, so I'm zoning in. I didn't think I'd see microphone again. The boo throw me out. So I kicked off the door like I own the house. Everybody in the room got thrown about. Hook, smash, flip the couch. Tied the producer to the chair. And that's why I got brand new music out. Yo, then. You get me? Watch out for the new EP. You get me? JDZ Media. Right? All right. That shit was dope as fuck, man. Like I said, it sounded like a one take because every time he turned his head, you can kind of hear his voice cutting out as if, you know, he's actually recording this shit live, you know? Which is hard to do, especially in the city scene. You got a lot of background noise and shit to go over your voice. But the shit was crisp. It was clean. It was it was on point, man. I liked it. It was good as fuck. But uh, y'all already know what to do. Go ahead and comment and share and subscribe. Leave uh Hit the post notification bell. I almost forgot what the fuck I was going to say. Just drop by the Billy Bob shop. Copy some Billy Bob merch. Swing past the page if you want to be a supporter. Help the channel grow. That'd be greatly appreciated. And then until next time, we all. I just like the sound.